Hey everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And wow, wow, wow. It has been a minute since I filmed from this angle. So I hope the lighting is all good because this, this red hair may be tripping it up a little bit, you know? But um, you guys, we have to do the song first. This video is about my favorites of the month. I had to do it because it's been like three months, guys. As a matter of fact, I don't even think I'm gonna call this video my favorites of the month. I think I'm gonna call it my current favorites. So, um, hey guys, how y'all doing? How your mama doing? How your sister doing? How your cousin doing? Dang, I feel like I haven't recorded in a minute. But first, let's start off with what I'm rocking on my hair. This is not necessarily, well, yeah, it is a favorite because I kind of feel like Wonder Woman. Let's just call it, how about that? Let's just call it a, um, what do you, an honorary favorite, okay? Or an honorable mention because I just started rocking this hair about a week ago, a week ago, hey! This is from Model Model. It is their seven star lace front. They have a lot of seven star lace fronts, but the name of this girl right here is called Avalon. Look at there. It comes in a huge, huge, ginormous box, okay? This is a synthetic wig. It is, let me see, my color is T.S. Merlot. But I'm really feeling myself. Like, I really feel like it fits my skin tone. And I just love it. It's super duper full. I will be sure to add everything about this unit or the link to this unit in the description box, okay? Because it is definitely a fave. Because it, it definitely has me feeling right. Do not judge me about my whole Ziploc bag situation, all right? I put it in a Ziploc bag because as I was twisting the cap on it, I'm a little heavy handed, y'all. Y'all know that because y'all know I'm generous with foundation because I just keep packing it on. So I'm a little heavy handed. It, I actually broke the tip of the bottle. Like, I can't believe I did that. So until I get a jar to put this in, it's totally gonna be in my Ziploc bag because this stuff right here is too good to waste. Too, too good. I think this, along with drinking a lot of water, has been helping my under eyes stay matte. Well, not necessarily matte, but stopping them from creasing as much. So I've been using this. Well, should I tell you what the name is or no? It is the Dermalogica Intensive Eye Repair Cream. I put this on at night after I wash my face, and I will put my whole skincare regimen. I will link it in this video so that you guys could check that out. But after I do my whole skincare regimen for the night, I put this under my eye and then I let it sit. And what I've been doing lately in the morning after I do my skincare routine I put it under my eye as well and if I'm gonna do makeup that day I simply just dab it a little bit because I feel like although the skin absorbs it I feel like it does stay there as well and it just stops everything from going into the crease it's I don't even know how to describe this product but I do know that it is a new fave love it ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it as a matter of fact let me add one more favorite in there singing. When y'all see me singing, it's because I love it. It is not something I plan. That's just how it goes down. All right. With that being said, we're going to move on to a couple of eyeshadow palettes that are my fave. Well, not necessarily the eyeshadow palettes, but there is one eyeshadow in each of these palettes that I've been loving. And if you follow me on here, like if you're subscribed, if you're not, I don't know what you're waiting on. But if you guys follow me here, if you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, wherever you follow me, Periscope, I, wherever, I always talk about these eyeshadows, especially lately. Now, Y'all also know that Coco Bear by Makeup Geek is an absolute fave of mine, right? Well, guess what? I have been giving Coco Bear and Peach Smoothie, but I have been giving this other shadow by Makeup Geek a whole, whole lot of love. It is like Coco Bear's sister because Coco Bear has a little more red in it, whereas this one does not. But today I am rocking Coco Bear in the crease and I'm rocking this color that I'm about to talk to y'all about on the lid. So this color right here, is Cabin Fever. This is, I just, I can't, I love it. That is Cabin Fever. Since Cabin Fever has come into my life, it is totally a part of the fan bam, just saying. Now, about that brow bone, yes, y'all. I have been giving ColourPop a lot of love. And I did a video on all of their new pressed eyeshadows. And if you guys follow me on Snap, I hate to keep saying that, y'all, but it goes down on Snapchat because when I cannot get to YouTube and do this drawn out video and get some editing done and all that kind of stuff, I just pop it right on Snapchat because it is so convenient. Plus, it's like raw, uncut. It's like we hanging out, you know what I mean? So I have been talking about this a lot, but I I do have a video where I did the pressed eyeshadows and they continuously keep coming out with more, but I keep finding myself gravitating to this color right here. Excuse me as I look into my monitor over there. But this color right here is called, um, what is it? Lord have mercy. It's been a long time since I filmed like this, but this is called Running Late. 
and it is the bomb brow bone highlight for me. Oh my gosh. It is a little more um, it's more of a cream color than peach smoothie. I still love them both, but I've been giving this one a whole, whole, whole lot of love. Some other items I've been loving are these correctors right here. Now I've been using this corrector for quite a few months and this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer, but this one is the corrector shade in R50. I've been talking about this in so many different videos. As a matter of fact, I think that it's like halfway done already. So I'm trying to really be conservative with this, okay? Because I absolutely love it and I know I will end up purchasing another one because it's just that good. But I like it a little bit better than my Peach Luster because it has more peach in it and I feel like it goes with my skin tone a little bit more, but the Peach Luster is a little more matte. But since I've been doing my eye cream, this has been absolutely great. So I definitely love that. And then I also have been using this concealer. This is by BH Cosmetics, but I just recently did a video on on this. I think the video is a couple of weeks old now, two or three weeks or something like that. But I do love their concealer, y'all. But let me tell you, I initially did the video talking about their new corrector, but I'm here to tell you the corrector is called peach and it is extremely orange. I will probably call it orange and not peach, but I find myself using this concealer as a corrector more so than I used a peach. And this is the concealer in the shade one to one dark. And so I am going to swatch it for you guys. And I'm also going to link the video somewhere in this video. So you guys can see the full review on it or the full first impression, but look at that color. It's like perfect because it's kind of like a concealer, but it has just enough orange in there to correct. So it totally makes me happy. So the next item I'm gonna talk about is this Schwing Liner by The Balm. I have a video on a wing liner tutorial that I use this product in, and I absolutely love this liner. But let me tell you, it's a favorite because it's super duper precise, right? Let me expound on it just a little bit, okay? Just so y'all know. First off, it's blacker than black. And you know, hashtag winning, hashtag score with that. However if I was going to an event like all day matter of fact not even all day if I was going to an event for a few hours or if I was going somewhere all day I would not rock this liner though because even though it's marketed as a liner that doesn't smudge it does smudge a little bit and maybe that's because I get a little oily on my lids I don't even know nor would I wear it if I was going to go to a pool party and I'm going to be out in the sun and it's hot and all that I wouldn't wear it for that but like fall winter few hours this stuff is so bomb. But let's move on to this e.l.f. palette right here. Now, I also did a video on this. The video is, I think it's one brand tutorial using e.l.f. Well, 99.7% using e.l.f., okay? But this product right here, this is their bronzer palette and it's called Turks and Caicos. Y'all, 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 y'all. This shade right here, I don't really care for the highlighter shade too much, but that shade right there is the bomb. As a matter of fact, I am rocking it as a contour on today. I chiseled a little bit with it. If y'all know me, y'all know that I don't do heavy contouring, especially on my cheeks, because I already have high cheekbones. So even if I don't want to contour, life would totally be great. But we all know that I love to contour. I'm trying to go down the line. Did you see that? Did you peep that? Did you peep that hair flip? <laughs> but I'm trying to go down the line on the products that I actually have on today. And this is a Morphe liquid lipstick. And I have a video where I did a lip swatch with me and the mini me. I got the mini me. I got the mini me. But seriously, out of the whole Morphe liquid lipstick collection, this shade right here is my absolute fave. It's like, I feel like since I have on this red hair, I feel like it, it's popping more and I feel like it makes my hair pop. But even if I have black hair, brown hair, whatever, it tends to give it more of a neutral type of look with a little bit of color, you feel me? But this is called Nibble and I love it. I love, I did a little uh, like mini review in that video as well. Transfer proof, look, no lie. You see that girl, I'm telling you. The next product is this right here. Oh, Becca, girl. OMG, it's a little bit small. It's called First Light Priming Filter. I have a video, not a video, I have a picture on Instagram that I took with just my natural skin and all I did was put a little bit of this on. This is a perfect primer for nothing. Like if you're not gonna wear any makeup and you want that natural skin glow, like you want your skin to look extremely healthy, this is the bomb. I have not used it with foundation yet because y'all know when I rock foundation, I like that matte look. I don't like a dewy look. So this gives you a little bit of luminosity, not over the top, but just a little bit. So I don't really like foundation to look luminous, but when I'm wearing no makeup, 
This makes my skin look exquisite. The next product, the hair flip. I'm just kidding, but yeah, no, it's really cute. There you go, okay. So the next product right here, this is a YouTube made me buy it product. This is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Medium Deep. Actually, it's a translucent powder. Did I say that? But anyway, it's the bomb. I have been using this to set my whole face and I have used it today as well. I wish they had this in a pressed powder form because that will be the bomb.com. It wouldn't be as messy, but I use it to set my foundation. And I think I've been doing that ever since I got it, but I did a video um, called Getting Ready With Me New Products, I believe it was. I'll link that as well. I got you in the links. Just check up here in the corner where it has that I, click that I and you will see all of the new videos or all of the videos that I linked in this video, okay? Just a little trick. This right here is perfect for my skin tone. As a matter of fact, I've used this on skin tones that are deeper than myself and it works for that too. But as far as under the eye for my skin tone, I feel like if you don't want to highlight and you just want that natural look, you can totally use it. But for a highlight, I still rock my Ben Nye or my RCMA. Now this foundation right here has definitely been added to my list of Holy Grail products or Holy Grail foundations. I did not use it today because girl, it is like way up here. I don't have that much left. So we're using this sparingly, okay? But this is the foundation that I've been using when I go to events. Now, because it has a little more red in it, I've been mixing it with other foundations I have, like my Becca Ultimate or Ultimate Coverage, Extreme Coverage, one of those, but I ran out of that. I need to get another one because they kind of remind me of each other, so I like them together. But since I ran out of that one, I've been mixing it with my Clinique right here. This is the Clinique Super Balance Silk Makeup, and I have a whole review video on this foundation, or maybe it's a first impression, but it gives you all the goods either way. Now today, I mixed the NARS Sheer Glow with this one only because the NARS Sheer Glow gives you a little bit of a glow, right? So I wanna take away some of that glow and add matte to it because I don't like a lot of glow. You feel me? I like more matte than glow. But this is totally not about NARS. It's totally about Urban Decay, but I had to throw that in there in case you guys were wondering why I'm not rocking it today. So yeah, these together, perfect combination, winning score. Speaking of foundations, this NYX foundation right here has definitely made it to my faves, y'all. I'm just praying and a hoping and a hoping and a praying that this foundation lasts in the summertime because it is not extremely matte, but I don't remember if this is marketed as a semi-matte or a velvet matte or a satin. I cannot remember, but I do have a dedicated video to this foundation, but I don't even know if you guys can see from here, but the foundation is way down here, mainly because I'm generous with foundation. And the other reason is because I love this stuff. Now, the next product that I'm gonna talk about is this concealer right here. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now, I have the shade Deep, but as a highlight, I would love to get a shade lighter than this, but I have yet to do that. So what I've been doing is I've been mixing it with my Too Faced Concealer, which is another bomb concealer, and I've talked about it in my favorites before, but this right here is pretty good. I don't know how it operates by itself, so, I don't know, maybe I'll do a video about that by itself as well. Actually, let me run it back just a little bit. I love mixing this with the Too Faced because this is, I don't wanna say that it's drying, but I love the fact that Too Faced is like really hydrating and really creamy and it blends really well. So when I mix them both together, it's like another perfect combination, but I absolutely love it though. Love it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Y'all finish it. Now, the last favorites we're gonna talk about on today is setting spray. Now this one is the Milani Make It Last Forever setting spray and I'm totally trying to refrain from singing because this one makes me want to sing. Matter of fact, make it last forever, ever. Totally makes me think about Keith Sweat, just saying. And I told y'all that. Can y'all see from the bottle that I love this stuff? This stuff is pretty amazing. Now, the only reason that I stopped using this is because I started using this one, but I love them both. This one right here is not too drying. I don't feel like it sucks the life out of you. It's great. And it is 16 hour wear is what it says, but I've definitely worn it longer than 16 hours and it has held my stuff in place. Now this one right here, this is like, I don't even know what to say about this. This is like the setting sprays of all setting sprays. I learned about this from It's Crystal and I learned about this from Platinum D and y'all, 
They ain't never lied. And I believe it's because Ben Nye is known as a makeup that is used for theatrical productions. And so if you guys know theatrical productions, it has a lot of lights, right? They're under a lot of lights. So um, that's probably why I like their setting powder for under my eyes so much. Ben Nye is great, y'all. But this is called Final Seal and it is a matte makeup sealer. One thing, let me tell you, be careful. Be careful, I caution you. Disclaimer, this stuff, do not get it in your eyes. I have not done so, but I heard that it does not feel good at all, that it's extremely painful. So you have to be careful with it. And the other thing, not that this is a bad thing, but it totally smells like double McDum. I'm just saying, it gives your breath long lasting freshness. That's big red, but y'all get what I'm saying, right? And it was something else that it said on here that stood out to me, but it says spray lightly, avoid saturation. That's what I wanted to talk about. You know how sometimes you see people like when they use their Fix Plus by MAC or if they use any other setting spray, they go all the way ham and they're like just drenched. It does not recommend that you do that. If you have sensitive skin, I don't know how it's gonna work because it definitely does make you feel like, I mean, it doesn't hurt. It's not completely drying, but you definitely feel it working. At least I do. This stuff is bomb. I will have links to everything that I mentioned in this video per the use, okay? Wait, let me get my life back together. Hold on, because now we can put it out here. Okay, but I enjoyed hanging with you guys today and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to thumbs up, share it if you like, because I totally don't mind. As a matter of fact, sharing is caring. So y'all have an awesome, blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Keep you neat, coughing, this is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games, it's the Seeky Beauty. Yeah, Seeky Beauty.